and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you what I'm making for my Slimming World Taster party tomorrow. Um, this is me, no makeup, no filters, no nothing. So it is Thursday, it is the 19th of December and it is absolutely horrible weather outside so I'm going to have another day home and I'm going to make some taster bits for tomorrow. So I'm going to make my favourite, which is goes down really well in, in session, um, loved by everybody who's had them, and it is my cheesy flapjacks, uh, cheesy oaty flapjacks. So I've got my porridge oats in my favourite Tupperware container, proper Tupperware, and I have weighed out 80 grams, which is two healthy extras. It's better to make up two lots, I find. Um, one egg. I did previously put two, but I'm going to try it with one. Um, and I used to use um, cork or Greek yogurt, but I'm using the fat-free onion and chive cottage cheese. Um, it mixes up really well. You wouldn't know it's cottage cheese. Um, I will add a bit of mustard powder and I've got weighed out well it's gone out now but it was 60 grams of mature British cheddar which is not a it's not a light one because I find the taste is better so you can have 30 grams instead of 40 but the taste is better I've got my fry light which I sprayed my little silicone mould for the flapjacks and I just swished it around with a pastry brush just do that alright um, and I've got my amazing moolie grater to grate up the cheese so what I would do just put in I use the whisk to whisk it all up so I put that in my bowl and I'm going to add I'm going to add about a half a pot of cottage cheese I don't need to weigh it because that's fine I'm going to add my egg and I always crack my eggs into something because you never know what you're going to find so that's completely off fine. Put that in. I'm going to add some mustard powder with a little measure. I'm going to put about a teaspoon. I think that's half a teaspoon, but I've got a couple of those. And I'll show you how I grate. If you can see that. Going. I measured it and it was it was 58, uh, 59, so I cut a little bit off to make it up to 60. So that's that. I'm going to cut a slice, cut them into slices, cubes, and just give it a grate. Now hi. I have three of these in my spares and I have two in my kitchen. I think I need to actually maybe sell a couple on because I don't really need five Moody graters. I bought them various places, car boots, whatever. But I uh, think this is the best grater ever. So I just on that. So it's all in there. I'm going to add a bit of salt and a bit of pepper and that's it mixed up or in the bowl and I'll just give it a mix. This 
this is thicker than normal, so maybe. I hope they will come out the same. And that's that. And then I'm going to put it into here. I think this is enough to make twelve. Um, so that is like two lots of healthy extra B's and two A's. So you can now eat the whole six if you wanted to. Um, I'm not sure what the sins would be. I've not worked that one out. I should have done, but I didn't. So that's put a bit more in that one. So I'm going to do this and then I will come back to you shortly. So there you can see they're all flattered down, ready to go into the oven. Hello, I'm back again. Um, I've now put them in the oven and I put it on gas mark 6 for about 20 minutes. So I put it on for 15 so I'll check after 15. This is my mum and dad's old Smith's timer, kitchen timer. I haven't hung it up yet, but I need to hang it somewhere. Um, but while I'm waiting, I just wanted to say, Jane, if you're watching, Jane and Charlie, thank you for your card today. Love it. Um, I would send one back, but I haven't got your address. But thank you so much. That was a nice surprise today. Cheered me up a little bit. So, I will be back in about 20 minutes and show you what they turned out like. Fingers crossed. Back again. I've just taken them out of the oven and it was 15 minutes just over. And I'll just show you what they look like. Oh, ah, yeah, oh, ah. That is hot. Try again. I will take them out in a minute, but that's what they look like in there. Lovely and golden. And they feel quite crispy. So that's what they look like. I'm going to put the others in now and uh, I will be back with the next lot of recipe that I'm going to make. And I'll show you very soon. So here they are on the tray and they are really, really crispy golden. Uh, for taster I usually cut them into about three so you've got three little squares but these make a lovely lovely treat. Um, lunch, snacking during the day that is all you, one healthy A, one healthy B and you can eat the whole lot in a day but they have come out really more golden than normal so I'm really really pleased with these. See you soon. Welcome back again. Um, part two of my taster recipe. So this is the final flapjacks that I've done. And now I'm going to make mince meat muffins. Because it's Christmas, we get the trusty old mince meat out. But I've got 50 grams of mince meat in there. I put it in the microwave for 10 seconds with a bit of cinnamon vanilla skinny syrups. I haven't got a lot left of this one, but uh, it just makes it a little bit mushier. So I've got my 80 grams. So this is two healthy bees again. We have two eggs, I'm gonna put that in. Now I'm gonna put half a pot of the it's the Muller mincemeat flavour. 
I've already taken the top off, but I'm going to put half of that in because I think the whole pot is too much. So we've got two eggs. I'm going to add a little bit of baking powder, which is about one sin for half a teaspoon. So just put half a teaspoon in there. And I'm going to add some of the skinny syrups again for the sweetness rather than sweetener. You can use sweetener if you prefer. And I forgot one thing. A bit of cinnamon. Because it's Christmas, we'll add a bit of cinnamon. And just put that in there. I was going to make a little well in the middle, but I think I needed it thicker for that. So I'm just going to add the mince meat into it. So that's seven and a half sins. But that'll be two healthy extra bees. So it's like three, three and a half sins-ish. And I just mix it all in there. And it's just mixed up like that. That's that. Give it a good beat. And I've got 12 of those. I'm hoping I make 12 because it's taster. Um, we want a few. So I'll put a teaspoon in each one to start with. Put it down so you can see. You could put them plain mixture like in one like that, and then put add the mince meat in the middle, and then put another spoon on top. But I've added it all in today. in each one so you could have you could have six of these roughly um, for your healthy bee you could make four bigger ones these aren't Exactly where they properly, but we'll get there. Let me take a little bit out of that one, there's a bit more in that one. You can just do that. So we now have 12, 12 mincemeat puffins. I'm going to put them in the oven. I left it on gas mark 6 for about 20 minutes. And I will show you when I come back. I've taken them out of the oven and there they are. I was going to sprinkle a bit of little icing sugar over the top. Just a bit. Um, there we go. So here I am. I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of that over the top. Just to make them look a bit Christmassy. So I've actually made some chocolate Weetabix spicy muffins which are in the oven as well but I didn't show you how to do that but it's basically the same thing but I just use the uh, chocolate Weetabix so we've got plenty to take to taster tomorrow so I will be back with you tomorrow with my way in update and thank you for watching and I hope it's given you a few ideas for Christmas for your taster or whatever so 
take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye.